Boy. <laughs> well, the light will dim in Southern California on Monday during a rare and spectacular total solar eclipse. Well, CBS 2's Jennifer Kastner is live at Griffith Observatory with a look at the best places on land and in the air to watch the eclipse. And you did something pretty spectacular, Jennifer. I did, and we're going to get to that in just a second. But this place here is going to be one of the best places to watch the solar eclipse. No doubt, this entire grassy field just behind me that's already filled with tourists is likely going to be packed with people watching the show. The observatory is having experts out here narrating the event. They're handing out solar glasses. But if you can do it, you may want to take flight on the big day. If you don't have to stay grounded for the upcoming Great American Solar Eclipse, clear. There are plenty of opportunities in the sky. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited about the eclipse. Pilot Vance Harvey is with Rotor FX Helicopter Tours. What altitude do you typically fly at? We're going to be at 500 feet above the ground. He took us out for a preview before next Monday's much hyped solar event. Rotor FX is one of the companies offering aerial tours on the big day. The Griffith Observatory is one of my favorite places to uh, travel to. Uh, the tourists really get a kick out of uh, this angle. Claudia Jacobs helps with operations and says they'll fly passengers to local landmarks. The Hollywood sign, we take you to um, the Dodger Stadium, you can see Griffith Park. You can go down to the beach, see Santa Monica Pier. Aside from Griffith Observatory, you can head to free gatherings at the LA State Historic Park, Caltech, California Science Center, Mount Wilson Observatory, King Gillette Ranch in Calabasas, and various LA County libraries. The Southland is not along the path of totality, the diagonal line from coast to coast where the moon completely blocks the sun. But we should be able to see close to 70% of the eclipse. And if weather cooperates, the view will be out of the world. And because the observatory is expecting so many people out here next Monday, they're asking that people take the dash bus that leaves from the Vermont Sunset Station, also the Greek. It's only $1 round trip and hopefully that will cut down on the traffic. Written.